what it look like tv we are back thank you for joining me on this one i want to talk to my youngest i want to talk to my young boys out there it's a lot of y'all that's really looking down on work i done got a lot of i'm not working hard comments in the comment section so pull up a seat young and let me highlight at you let me pull the crystal ball out and let's take a look into your future since you don't want to work hard you want to play these corners you want to waste time that you don't have that you think you have so let's check it out you're going to play these streets in these corners all through your 30s things going to be all right you're going to run these corners run these streets through your early 30s and if you were smart dumb dumb you might wake up when you're about 33 34 35 if you want to jump in the pure dumb dumb boat you're going to wake up at like 40 and now once you wake up you want to go out and you want to get that job now now you want that job now you need that job but whatever the situation is parents done passed away now now you're forced to live on your own or you're forced to have to get some child support up to pay for some kids or you just tired of running the streets and you want to be able to provide for yourself but you want to jump into this working game at 35 40 when the part of working that nobody tell you is you're going to need a good five ten years for that job to really start working for you and if you jump in the game at 35 40 you might be making a couple of dollars but when you really look around at what's going on and you look around at your actual situation you are gonna start to realize that you are making the same thing as the 17 18 19 20 year olds at the job you making the same thing as people half your age then when it comes time for promotions or anything of that nature ain't nobody thinking about your old ass this your first second or third job and you 35 40 anything that has to do with ambition motivation and moving up you are the last person thought of because you the old dude making the base pay so everybody at the job know you done screwed your life off so don't nobody really respect you like that and if you are this guy pardon me but we all done seen the guy out the back door of the restaurant that looked like he shouldn't be there looking like he way too old to be that damn dirty out the back door of the restaurant smoking a cigarette and when a lot of you boys talk young young guys talk that trash about working that's your future whatever bottom of the barrel job that you didn't seen somebody doing in your life but it was an above board legal job when you talk that you don't want to work in your 20s stuff you signing up to be the guy working that job the guy the guy who who work tools is a mop in the broom or a big ass sink and that's no offense to people that's working that but a lot of you shouldn't be working that because you should have did what you were supposed to do when you was younger and if you are in that position then the only thing that you can do about it is work hard and try to get yourself out of that position but every time you get a chance to tell a young boy that he need to take his ass to work you need to be doing that you need to be giving yourself as much good karma as you can give yourself and you need to be if you are that guy that's out the back door of the restaurant making eight dollars an hour smoking a cigarette every young guy you come across you need to be telling them don't follow in your path this hard work will pay off you're just gonna have to give it a shot it's the only thing i could really tell y'all but hard work pays off these streets don't pay off if you any type of gambler if you've been in these dice games then you know about odd them odds that you're gonna make it out of that out of them streets and if you and i'll be 100 percent honest with you if you 25 and you ain't make it make it by now use a darn fool if you continue to hustle use a fool if you are risking your life every day for a walmart salary